talking all day long, telling you all day long. We're going to hear from one Craig T. Nelson. He joins us now at Patch and Lucan's and Oso. Craig T., how you doing? Hey guys, how are you? We're doing. I'm glad, well. you, I'm glad you're going to be out there. That'll be fun. Yeah, we got to. I got to golf in it last year. We had a great time. Uh, did not come close to winning it. Uh, we probably won't this year, but I can promise you, we'll have a lot of laughs on our team. Yeah, well, I'm not sure about the laughs on our team, but uh, you know, we came in third last year. I'm looking to win it. You got to get Bob off your team. That's the problem. He's holding you back. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, who we work with, he's been practicing. He took seven lessons this year, I seven guess, lessons? to get ready for this tournament. So. Oh. That's how heated it gets out there, you know. There's some, uh, <laughs> there's some big money being bet on the side. <laughs> so, and is that is that is that bad form to win your own tournament? I, I don't even uh, know. I don't think so. What I, you know, at my age, there's nothing that's bad form. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you are you are you in the state? Are you in the are you are you are you land side? Or are you over in Kauai right now? No, right now I'm at uh, Sherwood Golf Course and I'm playing with uh, Steve Murphy, the pro from Princeville, and. One of my good friends, Larry Gooley, and who's a, who's an actor and a hell of a golfer, and we're just having a great time. And I got my dog Nugget here. Is there anything else you want to know? Well, I just I asked you that because last year you told me to to try Princeville out, and I was going to Kauai the next week, and and luckily for me it was closed at the time because I've heard that you could lose a golf ball or two on that course. That course is really really rough. Murph is the head pro there, and uh, I'm playing with him today, and he was just telling me they had a tournament there. I mean, some of the pros were shooting 86 to 88, you know, Ooh. 84. So, you know, and they had set it up fairly easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you must come to Meadowwood and go, oh, thank goodness. I mean, when you oh, come. You know, Meadowwood is, uh, it, I can remember, I think they played the Rose Hour Spokane Open there one year, I think, a long time ago. And it's still a fun golf course, but I would like to see us maybe go to, Oh, Circling Raven or something like that, you know, maybe out of Gazer, but uh, we'll have to see how it goes. Well, Rick, Rick kind of partially owns Circling Raven. He's out there so yeah, much. Yeah, I play, I play so. that enough. That's that the that no 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 knock on Meadowwood whatsoever. It's one of my favorite golf courses in the area, but Circling Raven is my favorite. Is it really? I've never played it. Oh my gosh! Oh, you have to. Yes, you do. No, I, oh. I've never played it. And, oh. and Gazer Ranch is the most beautiful course in this area. Yeah, no God, isn't Gazer pretty? Oh, the the views there's on the par threes. You can't even see the greens. All you see is the lake, and you're hitting towards it. I know yeah. I can hit that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, Craig, why it's do you great. why do you continue to come back every year to do a golf tournament? What what keeps you going in that in that cycle? Uh, well, you know, Spokane gave an awful lot to me. I had a great time growing up there, and, and I always thought if I ever made anything out of myself, I'd go back and do something. And, you know, for years I was involved with Vanessa Bayhan, and um, then this this situation came up, and I decided, yeah, this is something I'd like to put my name to. And I get to see some friends, and, you know, it's just uh, Spokane has a very special place in my heart. So that's why I do it. You know, Vince was telling us a story. We were looking through your filmography and all that. I mean, what an impressive resume and all the cool movies and TV shows you've been a part of. Well, Vince was actually across the street. What movie was he shooting out there? Kurt, uh, Turner and Hooch. You oh, my it, God. Yeah, you <laughs> filmed it in the uh, Ward uh, Orange Grove right across the street from where, where I grew up. That My house is right across that street. I used to use those oranges for target practice. <laughs> <laughs> and we came and watched you uh, film that movie with uh, Tom Hanks. Uh, it, was, God, it was a long time ago. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been a long time, you know. I look back on it, and it's amazing. You know, that not only am I still working, but I'm upright. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were going through some of your movies, and I have to, I have to, throw, I have to throw myself under the bus a little bit. Um, you know, this isn't my most proud moment, but I did watch The Proposal, uh, which is not necessarily go. the most manly movie of life. But I got to see you play what you are very good at playing, and that's a guy that's kind of a jerk. Yep. Um, do you, I mean, you are very good at that role. Is that fun for you to get to do stuff like that? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun because, you know, I got to work with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds and Mary Steenburgen. And, I mean, you get a chance to meet and uh, sit down and schmooze with a lot of great people. And uh, right now, I think more than anything else, that you, you look at the script and who you're going to work with. And, and th that one was a lot of fun. We shot in Boston and um, you know, there's a lot to do there for sure. And it was just great. I mean, uh, that's what I'm looking to do uh, these days, you know, and I'm lucky to have a good role in parenthood. So, 
you know, there you go. Not a bad show to get yourself into, right? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, we were talking to Rick Steltonpole, the, the director of Hoop Fest, a couple of weeks ago, and he mentioned that you were in town years ago when you were still shooting uh, Coach, and you had they, you were shooting something for the Hoop Fest, and you wore a Hoop Fest shirt right? and then took it to wear it on the show. I mean, that that's pretty awesome. Yeah, you know, uh, that was a big deal. You know, Hoop Fest was uh, an extraordinary uh, kind of a, an opportunity for me to get involved in something that, you know, I didn't realize Spokane took that thing so seriously. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, I, well, I remember but, seeing the episode of Coach where you were wearing the shirt. I think you, you were wearing it under another shirt. You were the T-shirt. Right. And, yeah. and, I, and I screamed at my wife, I said, get in here, he's wearing the Hoop Fest shirt. <laughs> but but, but you, you did little things in Coach that were so cool because uh, you had the, the guy who ran the stadium was named Albie. Yes. And and the uh, there was well they also did the the film presentation Hayden Fox the man from Spokane yeah. I, I, that was just cool stuff. No, it was a lot of fun, and you know I went to school with Jim Alby, and uh, who happened to be a great hockey player by the way, and and uh, we're still friends to this day. So yeah, no, I Spokane, uh, you know I had some bad memories too, but for the most part it was a great place to grow up. Nobody has bad memories going up, growing up, Craig. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I have nine years to this day about Trump Talk Pool. You know, Vince, Vince came in and he was talking about, because we were talking about, the, once again, the movie roles, and uh, he, he said you played one of his favorite and one of his least favorite football coaches yeah, ever. My favorite college coach ever was Hayden Fry, of course, and then Hayden Fox, yeah. Fox. Hayden Fox, pardon me. Hayden, Hayden, Fry. Fry. Hayden, Hayden Fry. Fry. Hayden Fox's teams could have kicked Hayden, Hayden Fry's, Fry's team's team. butts. Okay, but, but my most unfavorite high school coach was uh, the one you played in All the Right Moves. Yeah, that was uh, that was a guy that uh, modeled after Frank Cush. I don't know if you guys remember really? him. Really, Frank uh, from Arizona, Arizona State. State. Yeah. Well, yeah. you went to Arizona, right? Yeah, I went to U of A. So no wonder you picked up <laughs> <laughs> Hayden Arizona State. Of course coach. you did. <laughs> So there's no animosity there. <laughs> we were trying to figure out if you, if you, it, which coach would have been harder to play for, your role in that movie or uh, uh, John Voigt's role in Varsity Blues. And I and I wanted to say, well, you had to coach Tom Cruise to look like a football player, but he had to coach uh, uh, Vanderbeek, and that's mm -hmm. so I think that you know he may have had a tougher job there. Yeah. Well, you know, John is such a great guy. We've become friends here in the last five years, and what a wonderful guy he is. What a great actor. And do you do you when you come to town to do these tournaments? There's always some of your friends that come, and, and we got mm -hmm. to meet Jester from Top Gun. I, that's what I call him. You know, Michael Ironside was here, and just a great, yeah. fun person. Isn't it, he great? Is it? Yeah, well, he was. He was a kick in the pants. And then, is it fun for you that when you ask guys, "Hey, I want you to come out and golf in my tournament," that people line up and they come on in? Absolutely. I mean, it's um, you know, I do it for other guys too, and try to make it depending on the schedules, but. Uh, I think we're really fortunate this year because we've got some very good people and they're really good friends, and, and that, uh, that just makes it so much better. You're encouraging people to come out and just kind of uh, yeah, hang, hang out absolutely. around the clubhouse? and Yeah, I can't guarantee I'm not going to be crazy, but, uh, you know, there's never a guarantee for that. So, yeah, yeah come out and have fun. Uh, how's your golf game going right now? Right now it's uh, I'm, I'm doing okay. You know, I don't want to tell you what I'm shooting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Well, you're playing in pretty uh, tough courses. Yeah, it's not too bad, but no, I'm having a great day. Well, we've had you know, we've had a guy from Spokane win uh, win the celebrity golf tournament in, in Lake Tahoe. Mark Rippin has won it. Uh, have yeah. you ever played in that thing, Craig? I did. I played in one year, and then I uh, was forced to play with Charles Barkley and Dennis Miller. <laughs> oh, oh, that helped your swing. I swore I'd never go back again. Uh, <laughs> what is that swing like in person? I mean, I've, oh, it's, oh. It's, it's it's a tragedy. I mean, <laughs> It's a Shakespeare play in one hole. You know? <laughs> I mean, what 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 are, what are the other three people do when he's hitting the ball? Do you look away? Do you stand together? Do you not make eye contact? It's got to be difficult. No, I was just paralyzed watching him, and then was praying to God that didn't happen to me. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, no kidding. Because and then you just don't look. You can't look. And so Dennis and I kind of hung together, but it was fun. Is that one of those things where it's difficult to watch, or is it fun to watch? Because as bad as you golf ever. Your swing doesn't look like that. No, no. I mean, but he's, you know, such a great guy, and he's so funny that uh, he makes up for it in a lot of other ways. But it's, it's, it really hurts him, too, you know. I mean, he's, he wants to hit it. Yeah. And he just can't. And it's, God, it's horrible. 
<laughs> we're not going to disagree with that. <laughs> Pretty bad. Uh, well, we, go ahead. Rick. We're, 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 going, we're going out to play Meadowood, and, uh, okay. and I love this. I love the golf course. I love the the wide open. If the wind's blowing a little bit, it's okay, and it's always in such great shape. What's your maybe your favorite and your least favorite hole on that course? Uh, I kind of love eighteen. Yeah, the yeah, da- oh, downhill, yeah. beautiful, wide open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love eighteen, and then I'm trying to think. Uh, there's one of the par threes. I think it's on the back side. That's really hard to hit. Eleven Car- carry over water number eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number eleven. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, go ahead. I just have trouble with that hole for some reason. Everybody does, Craig. There's no, nobody's good at that hole. And wait, <laughs> your your impressions on number sixteen, which is the really long par five where you turn left and go uphill. Yeah, I love that. Oh, I love I, that I hole. I do too. I Thank you. It. I Everybody hate that hole. I love that hole. <laughs> It's probably one of the hardest second shots you'll ever have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah 220, turn it right to left and go uphill. Nice and yeah, easy, exactly. right? Yeah, uh, exactly. I, I will warn you, they built a house on 18. They built a house at the where it goes downhill and turns to the right. On the uh-huh. left-hand side of the fairway at about 280, there's a house there. And it's well, like, well, so I, you're trying to fade it, and if you hit it yeah. straight, you're going to crush that house. Yeah, I just hope he has insurance. I don't really. <laughs> just go up there and go, I'm Craig T. Nelson. I don't, you know, you, you're good. You shouldn't have built a house on the turn on a golf hole. That's, right. a, that's how that works. But, uh, well, we look forward to seeing you next week, Craig. I know you're going to be at, uh, you're going to have a get together the night before the tournament for people golfing. We'll see you at that, and then we'll see you at the tournament on Friday. Oh, great. Yeah, make sure and come say hi, you guys. We will we'll, we'll do, do that for sure. Thank you. Okay. We'll, we'll you do. got it. That is, God bless you. You too, sir. That is Spokane treasure right there. That is Craig T. Nelson. Okay, so of all his characters that he's played over the years, which one do you think would be the greatest golfer? Mr. Incredible. Like, I was thinking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't even have to I, think. I, I, he'd, be, I, I, he'd, be, he'd be the best at everything. I don't know. Maybe Bob Parr, who's Mr. Incredible's alter ego. Yeah. Because you know, he, that suit might be tough. He would have a hard time not hitting at 700 yards. Yeah. That's Rick's problem. He 